Oh, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't filmed in a while. I've been really busy with the new job, learning everything and getting stuff done. Um, uh, before we get into today's topic, which is we bought a new car. But before we get into that, let's do some quick updates on stuff. As you can see, got the hood up on the vet. Um, just uh, double checking and setting timing, which it's kind of a pain. You've got to disconnect this wire and then almost impossible to get into the bolt to hold the distributor and then you're looking way down in there for your timing marks but I bumped up the timing a couple degrees factory is six degrees before top dead center and then I put it up to about 10 um, checking all the forums and everything that's what they recommend and then yesterday just dinking around in the garage I'm, like I said I'm on call this week for my work so we um, changed the shocks on the GMC put some new KYB Excels on there uh, The other side wasn't even attached to the truck and they were so shot you could collapse them and they didn't come back So and then we bled some brakes and stuff because I was starting to have brake issues Now that the weather is starting to cool down. She will be wanting to drive that more so um, And then our total Toyota we kept I will be driving that because you guys saw that my Subaru got hammered and totaled so I'll be driving it, taking over this, and then she gets the new car. So let's get on to the main feature. So now all the insurance stuff is done other than we're waiting on one more check for the Subaru because uh, we had to mail them the title and the lien release and all that stuff. So we're waiting on that. So I will not be getting a new Corvette this year unless mine sells. I do have it up for sale. But for now, uh, well, I guess I'll just go ahead and show you. We picked up a... 2021 Buick Envision, the preferred package, which is the base model. But for a base model, it has a pile of features and it only has 9,000 miles, well, 10,000 miles on it now. So we were looking to get, I mentioned in one of the videos, we were looking to get a new car. Um, we were looking at the 2023 Kia Sportage because their base price is cheaper than what most people are selling used cars for. So, um, we'd been looking and looking and looking when, once we knew the Toyota was going to get totaled um, We just kept looking to try and find stuff and nothing well this one happened to pop up on one of the local dealers websites I called them they called me back and said it may have been sold But he had a 20 I think it was a 2021 or 2020 RAV4 on the lot mind you she wanted this mid-size about the same size as our Highlander um, All-wheel drive is a must So that's why we were looking at that RAV4. Well, it only had 25,000 miles on it and they were both right at the same price range Well, when we got to the dealership after work, he told us that uh, This was still available and this is what she wants. This has always been what she wants ever since we started looking She's told me this is what she wants So like I said, it's a Buick Envision 2021 it's the new redesigned body style. It is considered the compact SUV, but not the subcompact. So it's bigger than the Encore, but smaller than the Enclave. So it comes, we have two sets of keys and it comes with this big giant key lock unlock. Power back door, remote start, panic, with the Buick logo on it. So let's get inside. Like I said, this is the base model, and it still has more features than some of the higher end stuff of other brands. Nice clean white interior, got some carbon fibre. Yeah, I told her to get seat covers because of the dogs, so we'll see what happens. As we climb into the into the damn thing, let me uh, get the string out of the way. Oh, oh let's turn that off. Um, nice clean dash. We've got like an eight inch or 10 inch touch screen. One of the downfalls I have, so you have a home button here for the touch screen and a home button here. So why wouldn't you um, 
like move one of the home buttons to the steering wheel or somehow but um, lots and lots of features heated seats heated steering wheel um, like brand new it, it it should be brand new with only 10,000 miles on it but we've got OnStar and all that stuff um, one thing for us that's different is the push button shifter and push button start so we keep finding ourselves trying to grab for a shifter here but it's got oh let's go into nope that's compass um, climate controls so there's our climate control settings and it's got a built-in ionizer in there so what the, the dealership guy was telling us whether he's full of crap or not I don't know um, you can drive by a skunk and with the ionizer on you don't smell it as long as it has uh, normally when you drive by them in something else and then also I don't know if you can see right there it shows it in two-wheel drive but we have a mode button we can switch to all-wheel drive sport or off-road or touring so right now we have it in touring just to try and keep the fuel mileage down and then come winter time we'll put it in all-wheel drive and probably leave it there um, this thing is uh, let's see if we can show you um, so all the Buicks are at least the Envision that she wanted here are all powered by the 2.0 liter turbo four cylinder there's no option for a six cylinder I think unless you get up into the Enclave but this is rated at 250 horsepower and a little bit more on torque which is more than the Corvette has which is kind of funny and that's an 80s V8 um, so it's just something that makes me laugh anyways four-wheel disc brakes like I said this is the premium package which is the base model but 60 40 folding bench seats already had the like the weather tech floor mats in it got USB and USB-C ports it does not have the panoramic sunroof which she didn't like the sunroofs anyway so that makes makes it easier on us and then a lot of just a lot of features that we're not used to so the auto auto back door rear parking assist it's got collision avoidance uh, you know parking assist lane departure stuff so it's a to me it's a fully loaded car other than leather and no sunroof but that's just higher end options so so far we like it we've only had it about a week very quiet car compared to some of the other ones I own and then and then uh, it's got active dampening suspension so it's really smooth too so it looks good we like it this is a this we bought extended warranties it is a certified pre-owned car so it has remainder factory warranty on it but we plan on keeping this one quite a long time so we bought extra warranty to make sure we're covered for almost 10 years so that'll do it for this episode you know we'll if you guys want we'll take it out for a test drive and go for a rip it's not nothing special so just a family commuter her daily driver now and then the uh, Toyota's just gonna sit so oh foot has to be on the brake to shut it off oh I should show you when you start the car you get this oh it's not gonna do it now you get this really cool Buick display that lights up right there when you start the car which is really cool so no it wasn't cheap yes we have a car payment and you know it's we knew we were gonna get into that so I guess we work overtime and we won't be driving that up to the lake at all to my dad's house 
um, especially when we go boating, we'll either take the truck or hop in the Toyota. That's what it's for. So um, I think next weekend, you know, today's September 11th and we remember those who lost their lives in that tragedy. But uh, um, next weekend, we're probably gonna go up and pull the boat out of the lake and then get ready to winterize that. I need time to clean it because it's sitting in the water. It does have some moss and stuff on it and then build a shelter for it so it doesn't trash my tarps like it did last year. But so that's the plan. You know, thank you guys for watching. I know I hadn't made a video in a while and I apologize. I had started a couple and just ended up not filming at a couple of the car shows because of too much music and background noise and copyright stuff. And I got involved and was talking and chatting with people. Um, one of the ones we did was the Sway Day event. I think it was a couple weeks ago. I actually got to meet uh, Ed Bullion from VinWiki and JR Garage, the two brothers. They're actually from Montana, but currently live in Phoenix. So that was pretty fun. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you later.